We are at the Fleetwood Country Cruise Inn in London, Ontario, and I am with the very famous Ben oh, Cooter Jones. <laughs> um, what do you think of this show? I mean, you're welcome to Canada. I've been, you know, over the years to a lot of car shows. Our show, the Dukes of Hazard, and car shows are a natural fit. But I've never been to a car show this spectacular in such a setting with so many happy people, so many beautiful cars on a perfect day for a good cause. I mean, this, this uh, what Steve does here is uh, really remarkable. And uh, I'm, I'm just honored to be a part of it. And you're bringing out all kinds of Dukes of Hazard fans today. Well, then that's a lot of people all over the world. The show's been shown in over 50 countries. And of course, uh, it, it came on the air here as soon as it came on the air in the States. And uh, that was almost 40 years ago. And yet it's about as popular as ever because each generation that comes along seems to fall in love with it. Our show doesn't age. We age, but the show on the show we're always young and we're always in a fantasy land and the good guys always win. Nobody gets hurt. And that's the way the world ought to be. But the Dukes of Hazard it just keeps going on and going. On. It's going to outlast all of us. Yeah. Was it the, the family-oriented nature of the show that gave it its longevity? That's a part of it. There are great values in the show where the kids are really taught right from wrong. They always make the right moral choice. The Duke boys do. They're the good guys, you know, and uh, they'll stick their neck out for you. They always do the right thing, yep. and that's because their Uncle Jesse taught them that way. And so, but it's a show that has those kind of, you know, great family values. It's an overused phrase, but it's true because it was about a family and families watched it together. And there's very little programming like that anymore. And our, but our show holds up with the great action, slapstick comedy never gets old, great country music, Waylon Jennings, Loretta Lynn, all of those people, that never gets old. And, uh, you know, looking at Daisy Duke's legs, that never gets old either. And you mentioned the action, and that comes yeah. back to the car, which Great was action. a star in its in its own right. The, uh, the, the, sometimes the uh, car was getting 20,000 fan mail letters a week. The car! And they send back a picture of the car, but then they ran a, said, well, it needs to be autographed, and they ran a tire track across the postcard that they'd send back. The car was very popular. 1969 Dodge Charger RT. And, um, it's a it's a beautiful car, and people collect those too, of course, and build them. There there are about there are over a thousand of them in the United States and Canada. Canada, the fans Maybe of the show build. Yeah, it's a big event we're having uh, at the end of July. The last roundup of the whole cast together. We'll jump a car, a couple of cars, two days of music. We can see yes, that on the camera. two days of music, two days of stunts. All the entire cast is going to be there, and uh, we'll have wrestling and uh, bicycle stunts, all sorts of wrestling. things. So if I come down, can we? Yeah. You gonna wrestle me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got Rock and Roll Express is going to be with us wrestling. They're famous. Okay. Uh, anyhow, it's just a big old time. We'll probably have a get 20, 25,000 people showing up. Two days of great music, all kinds of good music. Two days of, and already we have 130 generalese coming. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. That's It'll like huge. More. So, uh, CootersPlace.com or Cooters Place Facebook. We're high tech now, you know, in Hazard County. Yeah, yeah. When the Dukes of Hazard came on the air, there were only three networks in the United States, ABC, NBC, and CBS. So on Friday nights, there would be, we got ratings that are unheard of now, 35, 40 million people a week watching this show. And, uh, you know, that was there was no internet, there was no cable, no satellite dishes, none of that stuff. So that's what people did. Everybody on Friday night, the whole family would get together, get some pizza, popcorn, and uh, when Dukes was over, the kids went to bed, and the parents watched Dallas. <laughs> I, I don't know if I should even ask you about this. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, but I'm just going to ask about that flag on the roof of the car, and I know that you've kind of taken a stand on that. Oh, yeah. what, what, what do you think of that? Yeah, well, symbols mean different things to different people, and to us it means something very positive. It stands for independence, it stands for the spirit of the South, and as a Southerner, we've worked my entire lifetime to bring people together. And Hazard County was a place where there was no racism. We were colorblind, and that was a positive thing to show people. 
And uh, so we've got no problem with it. As all of my people fought for the South. They were in of their time. Uh, they might have come out on the wrong side of history. But history is complex. And uh, we have different views of history. Everybody does. And um, my view of it is quite different from these politically correct people who are into cultural cleansing. Uh, you can't change history. You can't judge my good heart. And uh, I was came out of the civil rights movement in the 60s. Uh, I grew up in a black neighborhood. I've never had one complaint about our show. And uh, so I think that speaks m more for bringing people together than it does for dividing people. We are into building bridges, not building walls. And I guess the focus on the show just shows how popular it is even today. Among all races, yeah. all over the world, all religions. Uh, I, I, as I say, I've never heard anybody say a bad thing about it. And growing up and living in the South all of my life in the Southern United States, uh, most of the black folks I know watch this show religiously. <laughs> Because I mean, everybody related to it, you know. Yeah. It was a harmless thing. And I think it's now being politicized by people who uh, have a very narrow view of, of our hearts and of our traditions and of the South. So I think we represent the United States well. The show is shown all over the world in over 50 countries. And it is beloved because of those values. Well, I guess people can come down and check out your event. Yeah. And uh, I know the South. The South, really, to me, is all about hospitality. And that's right. And I hope that we've extended some Canadian oh, hospitality. I'll tell to you, you, you sure have. Oh, Canada, my home. I know that. I didn't know we were we going to get a free stand, concert. Well, too. I watch a lot of hockey games. We stand on guard for thee. Thank you so much Thank for joining brother. us on the Thank on the you. show today. Thank you. Privilege. Thank you. Stark Auto Sales. Hundreds of insurance claim vehicles auctioned every week. Now with locations in Toronto, Montreal, and Ottawa. Parts cars, rebuildable wrecks, damage-free theft recoveries. Bid in person, bid online from anywhere. Worldwide shipping. A better way to buy a car. Visit StarkAutoSales.com.